right yeah, yeah, yeah. rehab ki huha she's a stand up comedian kai musana rehab glad to have you <laughs> Uh, yeah. I have so much to ask uh, as a woman, but you tell me, what is your journey like? What has been your journey been like so far? So um, officially, I started comedy in 2019, mm -hmm. and then I took uh, some uh, a break hiatus because of COVID and a few other things, mm -hmm. and uh, just trying to take care of my mental health and all that for a few years, and then I came back last year. And my journey in comedy has been amazing. Let me tell you, comedy has helped me so much, not only just like making others laugh and mm -hmm. la laughing myself, but also in terms of like uh, my mental health, okay. in terms of, you know, there's a concept called laugh therapy. Mm -hmm. that people actually go and pay classes to like laugh and like it's a type of therapy. Wow. So I feel like we give like joy and laughter to people. Truly. You know, there's something about laughter, the science of it, where it's like, it's like massaging your inner, you know, you feel so good. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the reason why people come and watch us as comedians after a long hard day, come and laugh, forget all your problems. And no matter what's happening, just, you know, just live life live yeah life. you know it's actually in the bible like it is written <laughs> that laughter is medicine for the soul yes. so we really need to to get that good laugh especially in kenya now like when you're in kenya and every day is a new thing coming up when you watch the news when you watch the news <laughs> you you wake up and you're angry every time the least you can do to yourself is just laugh allow yourself to laugh, laugh. and be out there yeah. how does it feel now being a woman as a woman in comedy how is it for you how has it been it's been an amazing experience like um i think it's it's one of the careers that it was more like a calling because mm -hmm. before i've done like tech support i've worked at a call center i've done sales and marketing various mm -hmm. fields you know but what comedy i feel like comedy chose me mm -hmm. the minute i just kind of stood up and i got on stage i was like this is where i belong mm -hmm. the feeling of um, I don't know, maybe something other comedians can relate to. When you get on stage and you say a joke and you make someone laugh mm -hmm. and you see someone's teeth or hear someone's laughter, it's one of the best feelings or in hear, the world. Or look at someone crying. <laughs> you know, you make someone laugh so happy and you're like, they even come and thank you after the show. It's... It's not even, it's not, I don't think people do it for the money. It's just like making the world a better place. It's wow. a really amazing thing. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best feelings in the world. I, I can imagine because if you feel alive at, to that, it, it has to be a calling for you to be there. What are the uh, hurdles? Because comedy for the longest time until recently, you know, has been quite male dominated. And still women are not there as much. We only, when you talk about um, female comedians, uh, we could list a few that we know. The famous one would list Mamito, would list, um, uh, you see, um, Justin Wanda, Fake Walk with Justin. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. so we, we have a, a few <laughs> that are there and are really known. When we speak about the males, then there are so many. Mm. So it's still a space that has opportunities for ladies to come in. What do you think about that? Is has it what are the challenges for as? With being a lady, a comedian, yeah, yeah. lady comedian. So, um, just to, to to name a few. First and foremost, I think um, we in the comedy space where I perform comedy, stand up mm -hmm. collective, we have like a camaraderie where we we as women we kind of support each other, right? Okay. That's why. And um, so, some of the challenges we might face as women is the fact that um, the male dominated, like you hear a lot of quote unquote misogynistic jokes, mm. or you face misogyny in the everyday workplace where certain things are said or whispered, or you know, just, just that kind of energy that most women in male dominated spaces experience. True. So it's just more or less the same in that way. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, women <coughs> in tech, women in all these areas, we have to persevere and just kind of like go at it because let's yeah. not forget like 20 30 years ago there are spaces we were not even like able to enter so it's a brave new thing that we do mm -hmm. and for us in comedy we stick together like we 
Um, there's some awesome, apart from Amito and Justine, we're talking about we have Shaz. We have some really amazing comedi comedians who've been doing this for years and are really, really mm. kind of talented, you know, and okay. we just kind of try and support each other. All right. And that's what we're aiming to do with this, um, what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. Especially having the community to support each other. Yes. It really, I, I'm imagining that it will really boost uh, the women in this space, right? Yeah. What about, um, okay, let me ask, for you, it's stand-up comedy. How did you get to know that? I'm just good in stand-up comedy because it's not skits. Have you ever tried other types of oh, comedy? Yeah, okay. How did you, yeah. first, even before that, <laughs> it's a lot. How did you come to know that you're funny? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. So, yeah, at some point, I would like to venture into sketch comedy. Mm -hmm. um, but for now, um, I remember how I, I got introduced to the stand-up collective, the, the community. Mm -hmm. I was looking for karaoke night, and then someone told me, they, they have comedy here. And I said, my family has always told me I'm funny, and people around me, I make people laugh naturally. Mm -hmm. I say silly things, I do silly things, I make jokes and all that stuff. So, and I've been a fan of comedy, I think, my whole life, okay. watching like a lot of the uh, comedians, you know, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, you know, the, 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 the big greats, names, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm someone who's consumed a lot of uh, comedy growing up most of my life. Mm -hmm. And watching shows like The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and then now when also Trevor Noah took over, that's also, these are just some of the people who kind of like inspired me along my journey mm. in terms of comedy. Yeah. So I, I said, you know, let me try it. And then I got on stage and I said a bunch of things and people laughed and then I kept coming back and then I just got better and better and then material started piling up and then next thing you know, I'm like, you know, that it just, <laughs> it's also an art form. You see the way you are a dancer. Yeah. So like it, you, you don't wake up, you're not born a great dancer, right? You have to go you and practice every it. day, right? Uh -huh. It's the same thing with comedy. It's like a muscle that you build mm -hmm. every day. You learn how to write jokes. People think comedians come on stage and are just naturally funny. Yeah, that's don't really the that. perception. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when you, when you come as a new comedian, you come say some things and then yeah. So you're given like guidance. If you find like proper mentorship and you talk to some of the people who are really good, someone like Tanga Shira is such a natural, such, such a good comedian. Mm -hmm. He's really helped me along my journey as well. Okay. Amandeep Jagdi. Um, Mandeep, I interviewed a Mandeep here some time back. Yeah, Amandeep. Um, and he was throwing <laughs> jokes at me and some were hitting the wall and then I'm, I'm loading after. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, these, these are some really amazing like people and comedians. So they, they teach you the art form of writing, how to think, how to like structure a joke, you know, set up, punchline. The thing about okay. stand-up comedy, mm -hmm. do a setup, a premise, and then a punchline. And then, like, you know, you learn all the, 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 the tools and the tricks. Comedy is an art it's form. Work. It's, it's like it. literature. Like, you know, it's like a thing that's it has structure. People uh -huh. think that's how, even in the, the comedy clubs abroad, New York, London, everything, it has a structure. Mm. So it's also an art form. Just the same as dancing, music. People, it's, I know, we're oh, not supposed to take each other serious, but comedy is serious business, guys. <laughs> it's serious. Comedy is serious business. <laughs> okay. All right. So you actually practice before you go to a show. Yeah. Actually, you what? practice your set. Like, you, you, you plan what you're going to say ahead of time. There's timing, like how to say it, how to phrase it. Mm -hmm. There's cadence, how, because it's like a voice intonation, okay. performance, mm -hmm. act outs. Wow, it's, it's a, a lot in yeah. <laughs> guys. When you go to, to the shows and the tickets are selling, know that there's work. <laughs> we have done actual work behind it. You know, in Kenya, I don't know if we've embraced. Do you think we have embraced art enough, especially when you're talking about comedy? Mm. I think we're getting that. Let's just say that we we're are. That. We're slowly starting to take these things more serious because. We have, we have an industry where people, I think in the age of TikTok and social media, mm -hmm. where people, especially I remember during COVID, that's when people really embraced. Um, yeah. Yeah, because it's like art is really important for our society to function. Mm -hmm. And we should start taking our artists more seriously and paying uh, our comedians and, you know, various artists, especially comedians. Hey, you guys need to pay us. <laughs> Yo, it's, no it's hard work making you laugh. It's you need hard to pay. Work. Can people, people don't see it like, <laughs> oh, why should we pay you? Like, you have yeah. to justify, like, why? what you do, like... 
And yeah. I think I, I really understand how hard it is uh, as a comedian because uh, in my space as a communicator, uh, being in moderating spaces, and you just have to use, when you try to use some, a little humor and you see people are not laughing, you're like, why are you not laughing? <laughs> I really tried on this that days but that's that, that's one of you see the the, the how your job mm -hmm. so for you like the way you have interviews and all that so for us a bad day is a day when you come on stage and people are just not feeling your jokes yeah. so it's like it's funny like <laughs> for us a successful day is you go to a show mm -hmm. and then you say some things and people laugh we actually measure the metrics like oh. laughs per minute and you know seriously really? those are our kpis like, wow <laughs> So when you go to in front of a stage and you say things and people are just looking at you like it's a theater hall, like it's like it's a, like <laughs> it's a lecture a and you're like, oh God, no. So we call it bombing. Ah. So when you do well, you killed it. Mm -hmm. You know, like kill it. <laughs> and then it. <laughs> when you do badly, we say we bombed. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, to, I was today old when I <laughs> had but that phrase. The laughs were actually measured. Yeah, because if that's how you can tell a great comedian or someone good is on stage, mm. you listen to the room and then it just changes. Wow. You see people laugh. You see the crowd is alive. Everyone's attention is there. You know that. Mm. That's when you know. That's what we call a quote unquote good night. When people are laughing in the room, you can feel it, and you like energy feed off the is. energy exactly, wow. like any other performer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have so to. On a bad day, the bomb, the bombing, <laughs> when you throw off your best joke, <laughs> and everyone was laughing. How? What do you do at that particular point in time? How do you recover from that, especially when you're still on stage? Because <laughs> I actually, uh, this is a lesson I learned also from a man. Because I remember I struggled with it. You know. You tie your self-confidence as a performer to how well you do. You want to do well every day, right? Yeah. Like, so on those days when you get on stage and you don't, didn't do well, I think it's just sticking there, finishing the set first and foremost, finishing what you had planned to write. And then here's the thing about the crowd. Mm -hmm. This week, I can say this joke to this crowd. Next week, I say it to another crowd. And people laugh. Okay. Same joke, same way I said it. So it just depends on the people, the mood, or the, the audience, how they receive it. Mm -hmm. And also how you just structure it. So there are tougher crowds than others. Yes. Sometimes it just, it, it kind of <laughs> happens like that. And you have to not tie, quote unquote, self-esteem or things to mm. it. It's just like a, like a bad day at the office. Like the yeah. way you come and then today you're just not in a good mood. There's a lot of things happening. So you also have to roll. It's like mm. roll with the punches. There are good days and there are bad, bad days. Bad days. Tomorrow you, will be yeah, better. That's, that's the, the, how you are now a professional, where you're in the industry, where you're doing it every day. Today is a good day. Awesome. Today, tomorrow, not so good. Awesome. Again, consistency is key. Okay. Doing it over and over again, mm. that's how you get good. That's how you get better. Yeah. A lot of these comedians, some people have 17 years experience, 20 years experience, 15 years experience. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's an amazing thing for me because personally, um, like uh, guys from South Africa, those guys have been, they really have a really good comedy scene there. True. And it's just nice to learn and to see how they're kind of driving it in terms of Africa here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. What has been your best, okay, let's start with the worst. What has been your worst moment on stage since mm -hmm. you started mm -hmm. your career in comedy? Mm -hmm. And what has been your best moment? moment? Oh, actually, I like mm -hmm. how you, let's start with the bad, <laughs> and, and then I'll the good. With the good. <laughs> yeah. So worst moment was when I was a start, when I was a beginner, I, I was really nervous. I, I got my first like paid show. And I wanted to cram. Like, I didn't understand. You're supposed to do, like, uh, five minutes for an open mic. So I had a lot of material. And mm. I was very anxious. And I kind of, like, read through it. I just, like, mumbled through it. Okay. Comedy is about performance. Uh -huh. You can say one joke, but perform it really well. And then have, like, ten jokes, but just read over them. Mm -hmm. So I learned that art from never. That, I think that was one of my worst moments where I was, like, trying to get through a performance by rushing through it mm -hmm. and i forgot to enjoy the moment so you need to be in the moment be there okay and just kind of embrace it and love it you know mm -hmm. yeah so that that's something i learned how to perform and you know be in that moment in okay. that way what about your best, best moment. moment before we get to the events that you're <laughs> having as we close? actually my best moment happened to me this year mm -hmm. um there was a very there's a very uh good 
uh, like a very successful, uh, good comedian called Robbie Collins. He's from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And he came to Stand Up Collective where we do Nairobi Laugh Bar. And I got the chance to open for this person. Mm -hmm. He's He has a Netflix special. He's just really talented. He's open wow. for Trevor Noah, Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. And then I got to share a stage with him. Wow. That was one of those moments. Like, like, I mean, yes, yeah, I did it. It was, it was really <laughs> like an amazing experience. And I'm so happy that mm -hmm. it happened. And it was just one of those like amazing, you know, those moments where you're like your higher power is like, yeah, you did it. It was really like a like it showed me that okay, now you're, you know, it affirmed me and it was like you're you're good enough, you're worth because of course these are kind of issues you have mm -hmm. in any profession, but yeah, more so always, in comedy, yeah, mm -hmm. being a female where you're like, am I just am I good enough? Yeah, am exactly. I, so mm. for me, I think that was very like okay, uh, you're here, you're funny. Do Let's it. do this, yeah. <laughs> wow, and you did well. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, so now, your your event, uh, it's called Baby Steps. Yeah. Tell us about it. So, Baby Steps, the concept of it is a double entendre. That means double meaning. Mm -hmm. So, Baby Steps, I don't know if for people who, I don't know if people can see. Oh, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I hope they can. I, I'm, I'm, kind, I'm currently eight months pregnant. You don't look like eight uh, months. 34 weeks. No. Actually, yeah, 34 weeks. Wow. You have such grace. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, I wow. actually asked the doctor, I'm a G feature Like, Wait, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> Is this well, baby? Uh, actually, some people just think I have a pot belly. I am pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Wow. <laughs> that is gold. Yeah. When I get there. <laughs> Uh -huh. So um, it happened, I found out sometime this year and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, and I've been performing pregnant the whole time. Wow. Actually, I've been more consistent now with my comedy <laughs> than before. Yeah. So um, it's like combining um, mm -hmm. that, 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 you know, pregnancy and now baby steps is like uh, learning how to do something new. Mm hmm baby steps and then okay. also baby steps like i'm gonna have a baby, baby. literally and they're gonna like <laughs> take their first steps wow and then like just learning how to grow into something do something new mm -hmm. it's amazing like this experience of um motherhood and everything and wow. now the event is going to happen on october 11th mm -hmm. give us the details this is your camera. this is my camera mm -hmm. so it's happening on october 11th at the nairobi laugh bar also called the chemi chemi restaurant Levels Hotel is where it's at. It's along Kingara Road. So it's going to be, the reason I chose October 11th is because it's the International Day of the Girl, according to the ah, UN. Okay. And the special thing about it is going to be an all-female lineup. Wow. Talk about I supporting women in I comedy. Love it. <laughs> women in comedy, we are all for it. <laughs> We yeah. should be there. 11th uh, October, October. Next week, Friday. Next week, Friday. Yes. Happening uh, at um, Nairobi Laugh Bar. Nairobi Laugh Bar at what time? At from 7.30 to 10 p.m. 7.30 to 10 p.m. Yes. Do you want to share the tickets? Where can people get the tickets? Yes, um, you can find them on Stand Up Collective. Mm -hmm. And you can also follow me on my, my Instagram mm -hmm. at reikihuha underscore sunshine. Okay. Ray, like short for Rahab, R-A-Y, kihuha, K-I-H-U-H-A, underscore sunshine i wanted to do real right. sunshine but it was taken so. <laughs> <laughs> you went with the underscore <laughs> yeah because it's like bringing cheer joy and laughter everywhere i go uh -huh. i know it's corny but it's good yeah. I love it. <laughs> thank you very much yeah thank uh, you so Ray. much we've really enjoyed it and we we are rooting for you we should be there we will be there on 11th october yes and uh, to support women in comedy but also to enjoy a good laughter for our Ourselves. It is good medicine for yes, this. So yes. uh, I want to pick up MD Jiru, uh, who connected me to Rahab, right? And he's doing great. He has an event also launching uh, the launch of MD Jiru as a publisher, author, and stand up comedian. So just get him on his socials, I believe, at MD Jiru. M dot D dot Jiru, right? I hope so. Yeah, remind us our so your socials again. And then we close on this interview. Okay, so yeah, once again, my social, uh, Instagram, um, TikTok, Reikihuha underscore sunshine. Reikihuha Reiki underscore sunshine. And then for if for ticket information, uh, follow Stand Up Collective. Mm -hmm. And you can also go and get the link there. We're going to post all that information about the show. 
and yeah just follow my socials and get to know details support support women yes. in comedy support comedy support mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be amazing yeah it's gonna and be a fun show great thank yeah. you very much ray yeah. uh once again we've loved it uh thank you for staying with us up till this time we take a short break we'll be right back